So today, I'm going to be attempting to build a cross cart type thing. I'm looking at putting a 600cc motor in it, probably like a Yamaha R6 motor, but we got a long ways to go till we get there. Uh, I definitely don't have enough stuff to be able to do much today, but I'm going to see if the metal place is open to go get more. We're going to start by building a slight bit to a frame. I don't have any idea where I want to start, so I'm just going to jump into it and see if I can get going halfway decent. Uh, so let's get into it, I guess. So I got my little Harbor Freight metal bender set up. Don't judge me. We work with what we got. I'm going to make this first bend, and hopefully I can see where I want it to go from there. get everything lined up and we'll start bending. So we got the first couple of bends, kind of closed at the front. We kind of just want to get that going. That's kind of where the seat's going to go. Probably close up a little bit more than that. Like I said, I don't know where I'm going with it, but I'm just going to figure it out along the way. I think that's semi how I want it. Yeah, I'm going to make another bend right here on both of them and straighten those out. Hmm. I might put a little bit of a bigger bend in those, depending on how it looks when I bend those straight out. I think it needs a little more just to cut back in a little harder, but I'll figure that out real quick. So I just went out and I looked for more metal, but all the places are closed today. So I have to figure something out for what I'm gonna do, cause like th this isn't gonna take me very long to do any of this. What I'm doing now to kinda just like get it a little better is I'm gonna throw a little bit of a bigger bend in this piece right here. And then I'm gonna do the same with that one on that side. And then temporarily, so I have one piece that's gonna be long enough for a top rail. And then I've got more metal under there, but it's, uh, I started making something else so I can probably kind of chop that up and weld a few pieces together and make it temporary until I can get the metal. But we'll get started on this and hopefully we'll get some sort of a outer skeletonized piece of what I want it to look like. So right now, I've got these two pieces bent up. They're gonna run kind of in like that. Probably a little more of these out at 80 inches are gonna bend out and go straight back. So that'll give us a little more room. I'm probably gonna end up chopping the stuff off back here anyways, because it's gonna be way too long and I just need a place for the motor to sit. But just to give myself a rough idea and enough room to work with, we're gonna leave it at that length for now. Now I'm gonna get this straight bent out for the end of the motor part that I want. So I got this one all bent out the way I want it for now. I did go a little too far on that bend, so I had to back it off a little bit. I got one of my tools out. I don't know where I just put it, but it's somewhere. It's right over there, and that's for me to measure my angles. So I'm going to get this one in, and I'm going to bend that one. And then I can bend one of the top beams, but I'm going to have to Frankenstein one of the other ones because I don't have enough tubing. I mean, all I can do is get into it. I've decided I'm going to chop this down to... 
14 inches and then I'm going to hole saw half an inch off each side so it can slide in the back here on this mount that I made. It's right here. I'm going to slide it in there just so we can kind of get a measurement of how it's going to sit the rest of the way down if I put 13 inches in there. Uh, so I'll get this cut. I'll put it in there. And I'm going to tack everything right now just in case I have to take it out. I don't have to cut full welds. So I'll get it tacked in there, measure everything up, and then I'll probably tack one up in the front down there. Make sure everything is halfway symmetrical because bending with that, it doesn't come out as it would with a hydraulic bender. But, I don't know. I'm trying my best. <laughs> I got these two pieces. I cut out an extra one, but I got so I got two here now. So I'm gonna put one up top here to kind of square everything off, and then I'm gonna line this one up here so it can square it off there. So this should be 15 inches, 15 inches, and then that'll give me my measurement that I need to put down there for my other support. I'm gonna bend one of the top ones, and maybe I'll get that welded on to that side. I'll get it tacked onto that side and then I'll put some supports in so we can kind of see where it's going. I haven't gotten very far just because I've been trying to make the bends good so everything matches. Uh, but I'll get the, I'm going to tack this up now. Maybe it'll start looking like I'm actually doing something. I'm getting ready to cut this piece out so that I can put it in there, stiffen that up, and then we can get that one bent, but I don't want to take any chunks out of that to make that, just in case I need more metal somewhere else along the road right now. On Monday, I'm going to go in and get some ordered, so it's not going to be that big of a deal. I just want to utilize as much as I can today. What I'm attempting to do is I have two pieces here, and I've got them leveled out. And I'm just going to throw a weld in here. It's just going to be a support in there for now. Um, I'll tack it in there and I'll pull it out once I get the rest of that metal and everything starts going together a little more. As you can see, there's the slight angle in right here, and I just measured that angle, and I adjusted this to that angle, as you can see, it's crooked. Hopefully, I hit the angle right. If not, piece is temporary, it's just a, it's just a placeholder. I'm not good at stuff like that, so that's why this build's gonna be hard, but I'm still gonna get it done. So I ended up getting that done the right way, so we'll tack it in now kind of lost on where to go from there just because I don't have enough metal to do both sides of the frames. I still want to do one side, but I'm going to pull that frame out that I had the other one that I was building and maybe see if I can chop that up some way and make a temporary side out of it. I don't know yet. We'll, we'll pull it out and see what happens. But right now, let's get this one welded in. That way it's the last piece so nothing else shifts on us when we're doing anything else with it. Well, we are attached. Now I just figure out what the next move is for it. On to this next part. I'm gonna bend that top rail so that I can get a feel for that. And I'm gonna find a way to angle it down while making it the same height up here. So I'm gonna have to figure out that angle to be able to do that. But I'm gonna put, I think I'm gonna go an inch down on each piece I put in there and I think I'm gonna do five. So I'm gonna start at 20 back here have it up 20 inches high and go down to 15 by the time it hits the front or I'll make some measurements and see if I change my mind. I got my pieces cut out. I'm go decided to go 20 inches up in the back and it's gonna taper down to 12 in the front. I've got angles hole sawed into here. Whether or not it's gonna work right is beyond me, but we'll get these tacked in and see if the angles are right.
this is what I'm looking at right now of just temporarily putting that piece in. My only issue is, is I want to throw the same bend that's right there, right here. But with the angle that's at, I'm trying to figure out that if I bend that straight out right here and I rotate this down to make it level, because I want 20 inches there and I want 20 inches there as well. I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that the full 120 inches and I'm going to bend it at 60 to make that bend right there. And then after that, my thing is I think it's just going to be short so with that extra length I'll be able to make up for that. But if it's not bent enough, I'll be able to see. So I'm going to bend it slowly and go shy to see if it makes that corner. Or what I'm going to have to do. I think I'm just overthinking it. So I'm just going to do it and hopefully it works. Before I bend this long piece right here, I want to get another, another one of these posts up to 20 inches. So that way I can weld it in right here on this angle. That way I'm ready to set it up to where I know this bend needs to be and where it's level at. So as soon as I get this one done, I will finally get that bent and get everything tacked up and see how it's looking. This is going to be the last piece that I'm going to be able to use this whole saw on for now just until I get more metal. I don't want to start building braces in that until I get the rest of the stuff because I don't know if it's in the right spot and I want to have both sides built before I do anything else other than mock-ups. <laughs> Now I'm gonna get, I set this up in here just to see what it was like. And it's, for the most part, it's about like an eighth of an inch off, but I also have that angle there, so that messes with it. But I think once it gets here and I bend this and roll it over onto here, I think it'll work out pretty well. So let's get that lined up and tacked in. <laughs> throw a tack on there where it's level at frontwards to back just to make it a a little easier now that it just fell hopefully when I bend that and fold it down I bend it in the right way I mean it looks like that's pretty straight so it should drop right into that notch and then we'll tack it in and hopefully I did everything right. Alright I got it all marked up now that I'm kicking the camera everywhere. Got it all marked up where it needs to be bent at. Hopefully I can just get the correct angle, get the right angle on it the first time. If not, that's fine as long as I just don't have to unbend it. just a mock-up I am gonna chop I'm gonna chop the rest of this off right here from here back it's gonna get chopped and I might put something into where this opens up because my plan is mount a motor right there and it's gonna sit halfway in here the seats gonna sit right about there and with the seat sitting there I'll have enough foot room steering and everything I'm gonna add a little bumper onto the front of it too but it's coming along nicely I'm gonna have to put more braces inside there when I get more tubing but it's gonna be Majority of how far I get just because of the materials I have right now. It's coming together I just gotta keep at it and keep getting everything for it. Well, I didn't get very far on 
the frame just because of the holdups of not having enough pipe to do it. So this is where we're gonna stop the video. Um, like I said, I'm gonna put braces in there and everything, but I don't wanna do that yet until I make sure I have everything right. If you guys did like the video, go ahead, drop a like. It really helps us out. And if you like the content, you wanna stick around for this build, hit that subscribe button as well. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you liked about it. Let me know if like there's something I could change, do better, cause like I've never built one of these before. But we might do this next Wednesday. We might go snowmobiling, I don't know yet. But either way, Monday, I'm gonna go get everything for this and get it ready for the next video. But I guess we'll see you guys in the next one.